Good morning. So, still very early. Very, very early. It's like 3 o'clock now. Um, I was writing in my book, and something that is really interesting. And I know everybody knows this. I know there's psychologists out there and everything else like that, but maybe this will help someone who's waking up to who they are. And I'm going to talk about it because, you know, someone needs to hear it. So chronologically, we all have this certain age, but how many of us actually grow up? Okay. And Oh my God, I can't believe I'm actually going to do this. Okay. I have been so indifferent towards my life, my whole life, all right, that it hasn't even been funny. So at a very young age, everybody kept asking me, what do you want to be when you grow up? I don't know. Couldn't even tell you. Have no clue. And all of, except for writing, except for writing, I always knew that <clears throat> I wanted to write. I always knew some people everywhere had a story and it started with my granny granny. So I can't say I never knew, but I didn't know it wouldn't be through traditional means. So here I am, as we all are, you know, this divine being in this human body, having this human experience, seven billion souls on the planet, creating everything. I have gathered so much stuff, little nuggets, and filled up my basket, and I'm sitting here with a collection of stories from people, things that shaped me. And they served their purpose, all of it did. So fast forward to now, 43 going on 44, and I'm really waking up to how I have I don't know if it's called entitlement, I can't remember specifically what it's called, but I know there's an expectation that if I do right by you, I want you to do right by me. I, I expect that communication. And it doesn't happen. <laughs> My world is imperfect in that. <laughs> I'm also a little shithead when it comes to clearly enunciating in my personal life exactly how I feel and why I feel this way. Or admitting when things are dead on arrival. Because you always hope for the best. You never expect, oh, this is going to be complete shit, but hey, let's go for the ride. <laughs> and I can't even say that's true in my case. Because my intuition goes through the roof. I mean, it just, don't do it, don't do it. I mean, I, I literally, there are roadblocks. It's like my 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 higher self and my, my guardians and everybody just go, hey, hey, we've been telling you. Roadblock, boom. All right, goes there a way around the roadblock? Nope. <laughs> Fine, I will wait. But that's where it is. The waiting kicks you in the ass because you're not exploring what you because you can't see because you're indifferent what else is in front of you you're too focused on that one goal so i've learned that about myself i've also learned that yeah i do am quite the bitch sometimes and it's fascinating it really is i and there are things that you have to admit and go, I can let it go now because what inside me invited this to be? Is it, I'm really glad I did or I wish I should have, could have, duh. And when your opinion is asked for, and in my case, my opinion when it's asked for, that's when I'll volunteer it. I will not cross that boundary. And I've made it that point for at least the last decade. I'd noticed that when I would volunteer information to anybody 
for anything, even if I'm doing an oracle card reading, that that sets in motion their disempowerment. Now, if I'm sitting here saying, hey, look, this is what I'm seeing because you asked me, cool, not a problem. But people still get upset. They really do. They don't like it. They don't want to hear it. Because now you're confirming for them exactly what's going on. <laughs> And unfortunately, it's human nature. It can be calculated. It can be tracked. It's the level of consciousness. It's not nothing to be ashamed of. And that's why, again, I'm making these videos because I, I should not be ashamed. I did the best I knew how, given the state of consciousness at the time. And we can rapidly move through all of our own bullshit once we let it go. And that's what I'm doing. I mean, I have, eventually I'll show you guys. I mean, my whole shelf over here is nothing but the teachings from the Archangelic realm, the ensoulments, that I'm only just now getting, all right? And I have printed everything off a minimum of three times in the last decade. That's a lot of paper, by the way, so I apologize, Gaia. I really do, but thank you for the resources. <laughs> Ultimately, I've had to learn how to champion my joy. But in order to champion my joy and champion what my, the, the goal that I'd forgotten about as a child, to write my book, to write my story. I mean, I used to write little little kid stories because I'm a kid at the time. I would place anywhere between second and third. Never got first place, but you can ask my mama. She probably still has the original one that launched, hey, I wanna you know, go into this writing contest. And she would do that, she would help me. She'd be like, okay, well, here you go. Hey, we'll even make a binder. Hey, do you feel comfortable with your story? Boom, let's go ahead and submit it. I didn't get it, and I still didn't get it until now. And now I have to go for it, and if I don't go for it, then I'm jipping myself. So going back to what I was just saying, it's championing. I forgot what the hell I was championing in my life. Why would I invite something that I know, everything else is, is helpful, like all of my creativity and all of these ideas that I have, and like I said, I have to write them down. I don't have a choice. I can't do them all at once. Now, if I had a thousand arms, maybe, I'd do it. <laughs> I have two. <laughs> so, it's just, I can giggle at this now because I know what I'm championing. I know what's dead on arrival, and I hate giving people permission to go do what they need to do. Why do you have to have permission from me? There's no reason for that. The only reason that's necessary is because you're the one who's insecure. But I'll do it. You ask. Okay, cool. And it's happened more than once in my life. I have to give you the permission. And what's fascinating about that is that there's two, maybe three incidences in which the people I thought I would never hear from again, I do. Okay, cool. You know, sometimes it takes a while because I have known to be stuck in my emotions and wallow in them. And that's never easy for anyone to admit because we all put up this facade. Look at Facebook, facade. Look at Instagram, facade. I'm done with the facades. You know, Rachel's changing her hair. Ooh, Rachel's dyeing her hair with henna. Ooh, is she trying to change? No, I'm bringing out the real me. It's time for the real me to be here. I'm a visionary. And the visionary's got to put this shit into action. You don't put it into action, you drive yourself insane. Like yesterday was my relaxed day, my chill day. And I took full advantage of it. I know that I have enough discipline within me 
to say, I can do this, I can have half a pizza, yeah, a little pizza, because I know I'm still going to stick to my schedule to go start and include the exercise routine, come in, upload my videos, start my dinner at 5 o'clock, and take my butt to bed by 7.30, be up at 3 a.m. or earlier, and go. I'm actually one of the few people, especially since COVID, that can say, I like where I work. I didn't like where I worked when COVID first started. There's some, I can't remember the motivational speaker dude, talks about success and failures. I'll have to make another video for that. But when I finally shut down the business, I was happy. Should have been shut down to begin with. It should have. It really should have. There were no P&Ls from the other party to help with the progression of it to make it successful. I laid a foundation. The foundation was great. I had everything in place for employees, for the business, go. And it took me four months to do that. Four months working with everybody so that way they would be reassured you still have a job, etc., etc. Boom. And hell, that didn't even work because some of them were stealing. And I'm sitting here going, how are they doing it? And figure it out. You got to go for it and go, okay, done. Be that as it may. I'm happy where I'm at for the J-O-B I've got because I have dynamic people around me and they don't even think they're dynamic. They don't even see how beautiful they are. They bring something to the table. It's fast food. They, they, you're shit on in fast food. Unless you have somebody who goes, you will not talk to me or my team like that. I train a person, but I tell them, you're going to add your own flair to it. I don't care how the job gets done. Just do it because it's going to help everybody. And that right there brings them together. You got a question? Ask. I don't care if you ask me. I don't care if you ask the other person. If it's wrong, I will say something because, hey, we got to be within regs. I need to pass health inspection and I need to pass the restaurant inspection. And it's going to happen. Those are the things you should be ready to pass anyway. Don't. But people have to be reminded. So I give them something to champion. They can keep their focus there. If they're not focused, hey, what's going on? And that's where I'm at. These videos are helping me to focus. And I love it. There are certain personal relationships, two of them, that are helping me to focus and refocus me. And I love it. And I'm loving every minute of it, even when I'm sitting here going, what the f just happened? See everybody in their highest potential and yourself. Champion what brings you joy. Fake that fucking smile if you have to. But it's all about what you want in your world. And the minute you accept that you have created everything that has happened, and don't beat yourself up about it, and don't create judgments about it, it gets even better. It really does. It does. And I've been practicing this for two years, the whole championing. And it's me. I'm finally just going back and going, oh, hello, there you are. Wow. So have a beautiful day. I will speak to you later. Bye for now.